Welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. I am Alan Paul, and uh, doing a little bit of a different type of playthrough. I've done this a few times in the past. I'm not actually doing a playthrough. I should really back that up a little bit. What we're doing here is we're going to do a nanite run. Um, I do have a bunch of nanites on my main save, and let's go ahead and get into that right now so we can get this loaded up. Good grief, I've passed 275 hours on that run alone. Anyway, moving on. Let's go ahead and get in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to display a few things. Uh, we're going to go over some weapons that, uh, not the multi-tools themselves. Uh, I'll leave multi-tool hunting to a lot more of the other experts that are out there. Uh, Hero to You is a, a classic one that I go to. He finds so much stuff. Uh, that fella uh, finds, I think that's all he does, honestly. I think that's literally all he does with all his videos. He's, he's constantly ship searching and multi-tool searching. And every time he finds something, he brings it out. Um, so by all means, check out his channel, hero to you. That's H E R O the number two, the letter U. Um, very good channel to go to. There's also the no man's sky coordinate exchange. You can look for ships. You can look for multi-tools. You can look for freighters. You can look for just about anything. You can look for planets for Pete's sake. Um, if you're looking for a specific type of planet that you'd like to create a new base on. Um, I prefer to be more of an explorer. So I, ex I, I like to explore things and stuff like that. Now, first things first, I need to change my ship out. Let me just go ahead and get a one of my hunter ships. Uh, see, so we've got hunter, we got the raptor. And then, of course, fire. Uh, one of these three. Let's go... I'm going to go little. Let's go with our hunter here. Uh, I like this hunter ship. It tends to be uh, low profile, so I can see around it pretty easily. All right, so we're going to go with the ship here. We're going to go over the multi-tool. So I'm going to get in there real quick. In the multi-tool, I've got a bunch of different weapons here. As you can see, I've got the pulse spitter already loaded up. I've also got my um, neutron cannon loaded up with an incredible amount of damage. I'm doing 165,000 damage with it. Um, we've also got these other upgrades. These go with the bolt caster. I just happen to have them seated over here and the bolt caster is over here. And of course, we've got the scatter blaster, as you know. Um, what weapons you're not going to see on here? You're not going to see the blaze javelin or anything like that, which I, isn't that the weapon? Uh, hold on. Let's go over this real quick. Weapons only. Yeah, blaze javelin. I am not a big, um, fan of the blaze javelin. I'm more than glad to give it a shot, but as it says here, it, dis it delivers instantaneous damage on targets. Uh, it creates an ionized gas arc to propel projectiles at great speed. User will perceive destructive results simultaneous to the pull of the trigger. Except that it seems to do only a lot of shield damage. It doesn't do most of the more harmful damage that you're looking for. Some people love it. I'm not a big fan of the Blaze Javelin. I'm not going to be showing it here. Same thing in regards to what I just said in regards to the multi-tools. I'm using this multi-tool. I've got a whole series of them. I lost all my multi-tools much earlier on. So I'm not going to show you any of those multi-tools, obviously, because I lost all of them. But right now, I happen to have the Neutron Cannon in here. Now, for nanite purposes, nanite farming, what I'm going to say is, is that I'm not going to use the Neutron Cannon. If you're looking for crowd control, if you're looking to get rid of large amounts of, of uh, bad guys, that is in the sense of Sentinels, or maybe if you're raiding a derelict freighter and you got all those bugs on board, this is a great tool to have on board a freighter fabulous tool. It is definitely crowd control. It does enough damage and area effect damage that it takes out most of the bad guys real quick. Uh, much better than a pulse spitter or a uh, bolt caster will ever do. Um, scatter blaster is kind of a... think of it like a shotgun, if you will. It's more as it says, scatters out. And the further away you are, as it says in the, in the description there, the shrapnel is highly effective at close range, but the range is limited. So you have to be really close to your to, to what you're fighting in order to really do a lot of damage with it. So I'm going to mostly focus on either the Pulse Spitter, which again doesn't do a heck of a lot of damage, but it does a good amount of damage. You'll get about 35,000 out of this. Let's go ahead and adjust this right now. Um, and as you can see, I am not in um, multiplayer right now. I'm going to stay out of multiplayer mode. So I happen to have one that has four supercharged slots right next to each other. If you have one that has one extra slot up here, so you have one, two, three, and then one off to one side of the other, that's also a very good uh, uh, multi-tool to have, just to say. 
Um, so what we're going to do, let me show you the pulse spitter real quick. I'm just going to put it on the outside. I've got some X-Class upgrades. X-Class in regards to this are your best upgrades for it. And you see my damage potential isn't changing because this Neutron Cannon literally is a much better weapon in regards to damage potential. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to uninstall my Neutron Cannon temporarily. So now you get a better idea. So 18,851. Uh, let's move some things around here. Yeah, see it is adjusting. So we'll move that back down here. 32,000. 34,000. 32, 34, 32, 31. Okay, so that seems to be the best option right here. This gives us the most damage. The Neutron Cannon also does have the Impact Igniter, but no matter where I put that, it doesn't make any difference. It doesn't have an impact, if you will, on the gun itself. But you're doing about 34,000 damage per shot uh, on this one. Um, I've also got a paralysis mortar, which I'm a very big fan of. I've also got the voltaic amplifier, which is also a very good thing to have in your inventory. Um, it does 21% extra damage to stun and stuns enemies as well, so it's really handy to have um, as an extra bonus. These have absolutely no effect. These are the Sentinel modifications. have absolutely no effect whatsoever on damage potential in regards to a pulse spitter. So we've got 34,000 damage in this, in this arrangement. Let's get this out of the way. And in a moment, we're going to head to a random planet. I'm going to find a random planet with aggressive sentinels. Move you over. All right, let's put our bolt caster in here. Um, I'm just going to go with a basic setup real fast, and then we'll pull in the other pieces. All right, 34,768 is what we're looking at here. Let's move some things around. 36,000 in that arrangement. 37,000 if we put it over here in line with these guys. So we're hitting some pretty serious damage, and that doesn't make a difference, it seems. Ah, 38 if we put it down here in line with these. So that's really, really good damage potential. 38, 906. Let's see what happens when we move these over, though. See, it drops it down to 36. The more contact it has with your X-Class upgrades, which are pretty serious upgrades, the better off you are. There. So that seems to be the highest damage potential I'm going to get out of this at 38.9. And I do like the bolt caster because of how fast it reloads. Um, and just to give you a rough idea, so we're going to remember this arrangement by doing this. Okay, so we know we have to arrange it that way. Let me just put the scatter blaster in here so you have an idea of what I'm talking about. And the Scatter Blaster gives you 51, 49. Doesn't seem to make much of a difference. I'm going to reverse this a little bit here just to get some room on the other side. 51, 750 seems to be the highest I can get out of this. Now, I do like the Neutron Cannon, and it really doesn't help any. So having the Scatter Blaster itself in one of the supercharged slots is your best option here. So 51,750, as long as this is touching the Scatter Blaster itself, you get the most damage potential out of it. And if just to give you a rough idea, see, it makes no difference. This just gives you a, a faster reload time, and that's about it. Which is one of the, the drawbacks of the Scatter Blaster, is your reload time tends to be a little low. So, you know, that's up to you if you want to trade it up. Um, so we'll start with the Scatter Blaster, then we'll move to the Pulse Spitter, and then we'll go with the Bolt Caster. And that's what we're going to show you today. So... I know this is going to be a longer video. There's a lot of people that make comments in the video in the comment section, and I appreciate all comments. I just want to be everybody to be aware of that. I appreciate everybody's comments, <clears throat> but they make the comments regarding, um, hey, you could have done this in a lot smaller video. Yeah, true. Um, I could have done heck a one minute short if you wanted to give you a rough idea. I just gave you highlights, but really, does that really what we're looking for here? Now. I have no clue where in the world I am. Let's go ahead and check out the planetary system. Oh, I remember the system. This is part of the system where we have, uh, where we did our uh, anomaly mission for the weekend. So let's take a look at some of these planets here. So this is the planet we went to, and there's another planet. Let's let's scatter. Let's uh, scan some of these planets here real quick. I'm going to go into first person mode to do that because I can see the planets better. We've already seen that one. We've been there, if you will. Uh, let's see. Let's get away from the anomaly real quick, because otherwise it'll make it more difficult to see anything. 
Alright, we've got to plan it out here. I'm looking for someone with aggressive sentinels. There are sentinels there, but they're not aggressive, so let's go over here. Uh, looks like we've got this planet right here. That one we've been to. This one we have not. Frozen. High sentinel activity, so that's something. And this little guy down here. Let's check it out. I think one of these had aggressive. That's also high. And then we went back to this one, which we've been to. So this system doesn't seem to have what we're looking for. Um, so what we're going to do... Oh, we haven't scanned that one yet. Let me check it. Yeah, doesn't. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead into the galaxy map. We're going to look for a new system. And check things out. Uh, let's see. I'm going to look for something close by. And we'll go to a regular system. That's an Indium system, so, you know, we want to do that. Looks like we got a pirate system right here. Hmm. A couple moons. One, two, three, four planets. And at least, it looks like two moons. Yeah, let's check it out. Nothing like a good pirate system. Too bad it's not dissident. That would be even more fun. But it is what it is. Well, dissident pirate systems, you don't get uh, attacked by... Um, Sentinels in space is basically what it is. So if you attack anything on the ground with your ship, they're not going to attack you. If you didn't know that, now you do. Okay. It looks like my game audio might be a little loud, so if you all are complaining already about that, hang on just a second. I bring that down just a touch. And I am using a new... I'm using my new uh, recording software, so I'm getting used to it still. All right. Looks like this system has already been discovered. And it looks like somebody's discovered all the planets on it. Let's check it out real quick. Uh, yeah, we're not finding anything that we're looking for. While great system, not what we're looking for. Let's go to the next one. Uh, let's see. You know what? Let me do that. That way we can make things out. Uh, high voltage. Power generator. Mathematical. Let's go Let's go out a little ways. Let's get a little daring, if you will, and just head out into the cosmos here, get a little further away. Uh, let's see. We've got about 2,000 light years we can head out of. Uh, untroubled, huh? Water, it's an F-Zero. Not much going on there. Want something that's got a little bit of problems. Medium conflict, that's pretty good. Two, F-8, not bad. Again, four planets, two moons. Okay, doesn't seem to be pirate, so we'll just head over there and check it out. Now what ends up happening is, you know, when you have the anomaly missions on the weekends, people like, like to explore out from there, and they'll check out other systems while they're at it. So that's why we're running into discovered systems. So this one's about 1,900 900 light years out, so let's see what we get. Yeah, look at that. There's the moon with the two, uh, the planet with the two moons right in front of us. First contact. Okay. You're the first. Let's see what we got. Windswept. Oop, get lined up with that teeny little moon. Fiery. Nothing about sentinels, though. Rusted. I'm pretty sure I have a conflict scanner on this ship, so... Yeah, we do have a conflict scanner. That's why it said medium conflict. Salvageable, okay, that's great, but not what we're looking for. There's a little planet right there, if we can get locked in without getting the big planet in the way. Yeah, we're not going to. Well, so let's scan the big one. High Sentinel. We may have to choose the High Sentinel one. Uh, we already chose those, right? We already looked at those. Okay, let's check out this planet real quick. Maybe we'll get lucky. Get out from around this planet real quick. All those heads going nuts. I love it. High Sentinel. All right. I don't. Not sure. I'm pretty sure we're not in the Eisenton Galaxy or anything like that. I'm pretty sure we're in Euclid. Yeah, it says at the top left, Euclid Galaxy. Um, Eisenton. I could understand having trouble finding things, but this is ridiculous. Now this one's pirate controlled as well. Lots of planets here, though, and and a moon. Let's check it out. Conflict levels are high. We won't be attacked in the air by, by sentinels, but we could be attacked on the ground if we can find an aggressive sentinel planet. So that's what we're looking for, aggressive sentinel. 
And to create your own nanite farm, that's the best place you want to get one. These planets also have usually gravitino balls on them. So all you have to do is grab a gravitino ball and they'll start attacking. And if it's a kind of a hairy planet, you know, one of those planets that have a lot of bad weather and stuff like that, you can find yourself a um, ancient temple, like one of those buried ones. Uh, that one's not what we're looking for. There's our pirate, uh, pirate station. Rocky. Looks like there's a planet. A little higher? Oh, there it is. High Sentinel. High Sentinel. High Sentinel. Let's just get out from around this planet. They can scan me all they want. I'll take them on. I don't care. Yeah, we'll just take these guys out real quick. Nothing like pirates. You made a mistake, my friend. Two. Three. Who's next? Yeah, yeah I'm just taking everybody out. The Synchro Knife is just terrible damage. Yeah, no kidding. And just to give you a rough idea why... Um, yeah, 87,000 damage, peak potential 58 against their shields, so, yeah. Hey, exosuit upgrade, like I really need one. Anyway, let's move on. So we got around that planet. Let's check out these over here and see what we got. Hi, Sentinel. Come on, give me an aggressive one, please. Hi, Sentinel. We may head there anyway, I don't know. We're getting to the point where it's getting annoying, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, let's get around this here. Because I think there's a couple others around the outside that I have not seen yet. Like that one over there. I don't know if we actually scanned this one or not. I think we did. Yep. And this one I think we did too. Yes. Okay, so it looks like we've got all the planets scanned and we aren't finding a thing. Anything that we're looking for. Tropical. Kind of nice. Let's keep going. I mean, granted, it's been 10 minutes, but this is what you have to try to find. You know, this, these are the things you go through. No big deal. Looks like conflict is critical here. Uh, it's a dissident system as well. Ooh, that could make it a lot of fun. You know, I don't know how many nanites we get from those. So we may have a good experiment here. Let's check it out. Because dissident systems have the... Uh, the other sentinels, if you will. Which is going to be interesting. So I'm not sure how many nanites we get from those guys. I think i got a pad over here. Yeah, I do have a pad of paper. Good. So I'm actually going to literally, as you can hear me making noise in the background here, I'm going to literally write down how many nanites I've got. Oh, and we come into a battle. Can you believe this crap? Unbelievable. Uh, I've got really good shields on this ship, too, so I just gotta figure out where this guy's disappeared, too. I need to get rid of my guys that have joined me. I do have a fleet, a, a, a squadron. Uh, checking my radar. Okay. I think they took out somebody. Yeah, it's this guy. Okay. That's hilarious. I think they actually took out somebody. Ah! Get you and your shields out of my way. There he is. I don't know how he survived that. Uh, guy? Dude? Really? Right in front of me. Don't want to shoot him there, because if I miss, I'm taking out the freighter. Oops. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, I messed up there. That's okay. There's another sentinel ship. Okay. So what we want to do... Um, let's get out of first person. Let's head back to the fleet here. We need to land on the freighter and we'll get rid of this. Uh, attack. Is it up here? There it is. Stop shooting at me. I'm trying to help you, you stupid ship. This will end the pirate, uh, the sentinel attack. Unbelievable. Yeah, I'm going to call it whoops. I wasn't trying to attack him. Hmm, got some enormous metal cogs on my ship now. Great. Uh, no puns intended, please. Okay, so we're done. Off we go. Okay, sentinel attack is done. Let's check out some planets now. That was hilarious. Not, not what we intended here, folks. All right, back to our first person so we can check out where our planets are. High Sentinel activity. Are you guys going to give me a... The Nest. Ugh. Those are ugly planets. I really don't like those planets at all. Nice rocky planet there. Dead, huh? Yeah. All right, looks like we got something on the other side of this guy. There it is. Kind of a frozen world. I can see that now. Abandoned and dissonance, dissonance detected. Let's check it out. Let's give this a shot because, again, it's not what we're really looking for, but rare object. Let's check this rare object out. Oh, for Pete's sake. Do I have a... Yeah, I'll talk to you. What the heck? Another void. We may hatch another. Uh, flee. I'm not in the mood. Uh, where'd the planet go? There it is. I already got myself a, uh, living ship. I really don't need to do that again. And I think I've got a void egg on board my freighter, maybe? I know I don't have it on my person. I'm fairly certain of that. All right, how many nanites we got? 63,105. Okay. I'm going to write that down real quick. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and undo all those things I have on my person as well. And bam. You know, the, the, the broken glass and stuff like that so we can get some stuff out of it. All right, this is a semi rocky planet here. It's not terribly tall. Let's get to, I guess, a plateau. Yeah, yeah, I know. I like the rocket trail on my ship, too. Yeah, this looks like a nice area down in here. So let's bring it in. I don't think we're going to find much here, because it's a lifeless planet. Isn't that what it said? So, radiant shards and things like that are what we're looking for here. And this planet also has gravitino balls on it. So let's check something here. Oh yeah, this is going to be a great planet. Corrupted Sentinels. Flora and fauna are absent. Well, we got some flora, but we have no fauna. So looking around for animals is not going to be good. We have whispering eggs we got to be careful of. Um... But we do have plenty of gravitino balls that'll get us what we're looking for. Looks like we got a dissonant resonator, a couple of them over there. Good, good. All right, so it looks like we can get a fight going here. Um, let's go in here real quick. So again, I have this salvage class. I'm going to go ahead and undo it real quick. So we get an accurate reading of what we're getting out of this. I don't think these guys give a lot in the way of that. Um, how's my inventory? Look, it's looking kind of full. I'll just put it in my ship over there. Why do I still have bones on me? I thought I got rid of those things. Anyway, uh, these give nanites. So as you can see, that's 4,800 nanites already. So, okay. And you notice we got some more nanites when we did all that. Not much, 
63.127. So you only got about 20 nanites out of it, but there you are. Uh, still have that. Okay, and there's one of our gravitino balls. Okay, great. So keeping in mind that these things also give nanites, I want to show you something real quick. So eh, what do you know? 14 more nanites. Uh, yeah, I'll put you there for now. So let me show you something. If you put atlantidium in here, it gives you pugnium. Pugnium gives you nanites, okay? Uh, if you put the mirrors in, they give you nanites. 1 to 95. So you get 95 nanites for an inverted mirror. So keep that in mind. So you can get more nanites that way. Crystallized hearts, they don't give you anything. Um, Hylian brains, they do, 230. But you know you're looking for ships, so if you really want to, you can get rid of them that way. I've got a bunch in inventory. The harmonic brains, they don't give you anything. So I do have one in my inventory still that I can look for a ship. Um, and the radiant shards, finally, they give you nanites at a 1 to 50 ratio. So you could get nanites that way, too, if you wish, by mining those. And they don't take you long, especially with one of the uh, uh, hijacked lasers from your multi Sentinel multi-tool. So that's that's something. Um, so that's something you can think of as far as that. And the, the pugnium, let me just see if I've got some on my person. Yes, I do. You see, 25 to 1 ratio gives you pugnium. So you get this 5,000, I can get about 200 out of it, uh, 250. So, yeah, that's that's how this works. All right, it's not really the best way to do it. But, you know, granted, you're going to get a lot more nanites, runaway mold. I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of that for now. So there's our pugnium. I'm going to go ahead and put that in my ship so you know we don't have that on us. Uh, we got tons of crystallized hearts. I'm not going to start putting them in my ship at this point. There we go. So we got plenty of inventory space. So let's have some fun. So what weapon did we choose first? Okay, we're using the scatter blaster. So I am going to upset somebody real quick. Uh, let me just check here. 148, 262. Let's get this one. Yep, it's right here. Oh, boy. I love these kind of planets. Because you can stay in the sky forever. Okay. So as soon as you do that, you're going to get get these guys showing up. Um, need to choose my weapon. It's got a blaster. Um, where'd the other guy go? He was there, wasn't he? Oh, there he is. One. So you could see two shots. So, and you can see I also got the, uh, the the pellet he dropped, the capsule. He dropped on that one by hitting it a second time. And you see there's a bunch of these guys. And from a distance, you see what kind of damage I'm doing? See? Not much. And that's the point. Is from the distance, you're not as good. And you have to reload often with the Scatter Blaster, unless you can get the different upgrades that allow you to... And it's a slow upgrade. Okay? So that tells you a little something. These guys are protecting their their unit out there, so that's fine. I don't know what just happened. There we go. Okay. See, from a distance, I have to give them more shots in order to get it. Those little guys are a pain in the neck. Just keep that in mind. That's the reason why. And then when they get damaged enough, they blow up right in your face. Who's hitting me? See what I mean? I can't even get that barrel down there. Finally got it. And then they go like that, and you can get up in the air and do that. That's why these things work. These planets are kind of the better planets to go with if you can. So with the Scatter Blaster, you have to load early. Alright. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run away at this point, and then we're going to switch weapons. Oh, great. And they just keep going. If I can get far enough away and have these guys stop hunting me, that'll be great. 
And like I said, then we'll switch weapons. So that's a pretty good way of doing things. And I think that's going to be pretty good. So we'll see what happens here. Do do do. No, I don't know if there's any um, events that happen on this world, but we'll see. I just got to go a few more seconds, and we're good. Okay, so they're done. They're done hunting me. So let's stop, and we'll go ahead and we'll adjust our multi-tool. All right, taking this out. Okay, so I think, it, like I said, I'm not going to even bother with the neutron cannon. You all have seen that in many different episodes, so I'm not going to worry about that. I want to show you the pulse spitter next, and then we're going to end with the scatter blaster. Uh, not scatter blaster, the bolt caster. I'll get it right, don't worry. All right, 31, 34, is that where we ended up? 32, 32, 34, 32. Okay, I think that was it, 34. Okay. All right, 34,000. All right. And I think we'll just go ahead and pick a fight. So we're going to go ahead and go with Pulse Spitter. And I like to reload often with the Pulse Spitter. And the thing about the Pulse Spitter is from a distance, it's very good. Okay. It gets harder to aim. And that's my, oh, that's my uh, Paralysis Mortar. But I've also got... A combat scope, which will hold you more steady when you're using the pulse spitter. But the longer you go with the pulse spitter, watch the shots. You see how they start becoming erratic and they scatter. So the longer you hold it down. So pulse spitters are very good in short bursts. Excellent in short bursts. And I'm going to pick up all of those combat materials because that's where all the materials come from. You see, we are increasing slightly, but not much. But we are getting things. I can go back up here. We're not getting a whole lot of things, but we're getting things. Ah, there we go. We're going to get a crystallized heart from that. Okay, good. That one's done. And that one's done. Okay. I think we got a couple more to deal with. Okay. So I want to say that I don't think a dissident planet is the best place to go unless, you know, you go around here and you start gathering other materials, Atlanta, uh, Atlantidium, um, the other crystals and stuff like that. Oh, we got to stay in the air for this guy. Oop. Trying to reload. There we go. He's done. So that guy's on a timer now. You got to take him out soon. He's gone. There we go. Anybody else? There must be somebody else floating around. Him them. I wouldn't really call it a him either. I completely missed. There we go. Okay. Any more? Yep, we got a few more to pick up. Now we're going to go ahead and run away, because otherwise we're going to shut them down. Okay, we got everything we needed. And then we're going to switch to bolt caster. We got a full minute we got to get away from these people with. These sentinels with. So we'll go ahead and just jet away a little ways. And then run around. And then we're going to switch over to bolt caster. And we're going to take on more waves. And we'll probably complete out the waves this time. So harvesting radiant shards and stuff like that, just to give you a rough idea. Don't do it while you're in combat, by the way. It resets the timer if you're trying to escape. Um... See, these, these planets are great. You see my jetpack never runs out. I can stay in the air forever. Anyway, moving along. Um, these planets seem to be good about gathering the resources that you can turn into nanites. Um, 
it's the same with all sentinel planets that you're going to fight all other sentinels and stuff like that and they give you the upgrades you can trade in the upgrades for nanites yeah it's the same kind of thing same kind of concept of course but at this point those planets might be better than the one that we're doing right now so i might see what we can do after all this is said and done okay the corrupt swarm is abating see plenty of these radiant shards around that i can get in atlanta dm especially in the larger in the larger units the living fragments so, all right, switching over one more time. Let's put this over here. And now the bolt caster. Now, what we can do is we can put the X-Class upgrades in here, but if I'm not mistaken, there was a difference on this one. 36,000, 38, that was it, right? 38, and that's where we kept it, 38,906. Excellent. And these will keep that upgraded as well. And we're going to switch over to bolt caster. There we go. All set. And it looks like we have somebody nearby that I can annoy. Now you see the reload process was super, super fast. So watch. Done. It's very, very fast. I'm going to let it run out this time without reloading. And I'm going to show you how fast it is to reload with this unit. Hold on a second. And there we go. And they will always appear generally in the direction that your character is facing. And you see? And I'm already reloaded immediately. I ran out and I reloaded immediately. So it uses a lot of uh, uh, ammunition, if you will. You're getting ammunition as you go, but it uses up a lot. Just to double check to see how much ammunition I've got. Yeah, I got about 63,000. Uh, we should be okay, I would think. So, all right. Oh, here we go. Now watch. And you notice the shots don't stray. See? They go straight. Okay, and I got that too. Oh, there's somebody here. Hi there, guys. The little guys are here too. I didn't notice them. Okay, there's one. And if you don't feel like hitting the R button to reload, you can just reload using any old button. You can start firing again, and it will reload real quick. Uh, are we missing somebody? I don't see the timer. Hmm. That's odd. And I'm listening very carefully. Sometimes they slip or they glitch out and go underground, so you got to kind of keep your eyes peeled. But you should see them on your radar at the top. You should see something. So it doesn't look like it's loading properly. You know what we should do? Oh, wait a minute. I just saw something. I thought I did. Swarm is hunting. Oh, they're over here. As detected, I don't know by what. Okay, the swarm is over there. That's not the swarm we're looking for. So what I'm going to do is see how it reset the timer. So whatever happened back there, they probably glitched out and they're underground, and I can't get to them anymore. I am going to head this way because of that. You see, there's a whole bunch more over here. There we go. There we go. It says detected, so I don't know if there's anyone else around. Ah, multiplying. Good, 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 good. All right, so we're in good shape here. And we're close by our ship for once. Suppression level four. Now we could use our neutron cannon to get these guys.
and you see how I can stay aloft on this planet a lot longer than in any other circumstances. Anybody else? Hope you. Hi there. You're not the only one that can fly, my friend. And it looks like we're going to get to number five. Alright, let's get up the hill here so we're closer by the ship for now. Maximum level. Hello. You appeared behind me. Like we got two of them. That's interesting. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they're really going nuts here. Oh, flames. I'll go up a little higher. You can't hit me. Where is he? There we go. See, when they get that exclamation point, that means they're going to blow up. Especially if they can get close to you, they'll do a suicide run on you. And sooner or later, this will be over. So stay closer to the ground. Because it likes to do the dissonant. Um, I don't know how that happened, but I'm actually on phase two again. Moving on to phase three. There we go. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and do this. This is going to be a little bit longer than I expected. You'll hear my cat is meowing in the background. Apparently the neighbor's dog got out again. Oh, there they are. Um, he went into the ground. Yeah. There we go. Where's the other guys at? Got a lot of these little guys floating around this time. Okay, good deal. Who am I missing? Oh, missing you. There we go. And one more. There it is. Alright, and if you're not sure if you got all the combat supplies, look through your scope. See? Those are combat supplies. Look familiar, don't they? Oh, okay. I think we'll go after those combat supplies here shortly. Now, for some reason, they don't like your ship. If you want to stand on your ship, if you're not on a planet that has this kind of gravitational issues. There we go. Anybody else? All right. You can stay on your ship if you want. Because they won't climb onto your ship to get you, like in other instances. So we got some combat supplies over there. Apparently there's some right in front of me, but I can't seem to get to it. It must be underground. And we can stand here the whole time and get them. And I don't know what it is about your ship, but they just don't seem to like it. They will attack you, don't get me wrong, like this one is right now. 
but you're in better shape. And you see that even if they blow up, and you got your combat supplies you can take out as well, and which will heal you up. There's another one underneath me somewhere. Yeah. I think he's the last one. Where'd he go? It says he's over there. He must be over here. Ah, oh, there he is. Strange thing is, if you look, you'll see that everything's reset again. And I no longer have them attacking me. So this looks like it's a never-ending battle that I'm never going to win. So we're going to hold off here. I think that's enough. Because that was almost like a final battle at this point. We do have some combat supplies we can get over there. And there's one down here that I can't seem to see. Uh, let's grab this one. I thought maybe it might be in a cave, but I don't see anything under me. Nope. Right there. So I'm going to try something here real quick and see if I can't do it the other way. Nope. Won't let me get it. And we're going to go out of first person real quick. Uh, we're going to go with our terrain manipulator. Ah, see there was a cave down there it glitched into. I'll go ahead and grab it. And we'll go back up. There we go. Uh, some right here. Uh, let's see. Just so I want to make sure we got all the combat supplies. That one... Let me make sure. That should be it, I believe. I don't think there's anything else. Nope, that's underground. Okay, we're good. So what do we end up with? That's on my starship. So as we take a look in here, you see there's really not a whole lot. We ended up with some crystallized hearts, of course, from those units, and we didn't end up with a whole lot more. And you see my nanite really didn't go up by a whole lot. You're going to get some Atlantidium, of course. That's going to be a given. Uh, you'll get more crystallized hearts from those guys. You haven't gotten any mirrors because that's a different creature altogether. So your biggest pull from this planet is going to be getting either crystallized hearts or getting your inverted mirrors and getting a whole lot of Atlantidium, which you will get from killing this, these corrupted sentinels. So that's where we end up with that. And as you can see, I have a ton of those... Um, in my inventory. It's funny how this ship doesn't have any on it, so I'm going to go ahead and move some over, which is the uh, radiant shards, because it's used for fuel on the ships. So, there, there we go. That feels a lot better. <laughs> and I'll put that over there and gravitino balls as you pick them up. Okay, so that is that for this system. Let's do one more, and this will make out the full hour, I hope. Let's see what happens here. We want to go to a system that has an aggressive planet in it if we can manage it that's really really odd that we're not finding any there we go let's look for a different type of planet uh, system that is um, I'm gonna look for a lower end system there we go hopefully a lot of planets on it there's only four here let's look look around Two Orvax. Like a binary system right here. That's pretty neat. Two Corvax systems right next to each other. For pretty cool. Okay. I know, I know. This is the boring part. Pirate controlled. Gentle. Yeah, that's the first thing we need, right? Testy. Okay, that's interesting. Pirate controlled. Perilous. Why not? Let's give it a shot. We've got enough planets on it. Looks like we've only got four, but we'll check it out anyway. I want to get this moving along. So we're going to look for an aggressive sentinel planet. We're going to use our bolt caster, and I want to show you what happens when you are with regular sentinels at this point.
Yeah, if we can find him, that is. Okay, so this planet first. Uh, what do we got? Hi. And we will, we can go to a high sentinel planet as well, if worse comes to worse. Magnetized. Looks like there's another planet out there, maybe. Uh, uh, discovered. Hi. And then finally the one we're sitting right in front of. Boggy. And I think that's all the planets there are, if I remember correctly. Yes. Okay. So we've got a space station right in front of me, too. Um, let's go to the high sentinel planet over here. It'll be a nasty system because of the fact that it's a high energy. It's got activated copper, so we're going to have bad storms here as well. And this will round out our gameplay for today. So, you know, the title to this gives you the hint that this is like a little over an hour long of nanite hunting. And a couple different ways you can acquire nanites. I prefer to use, I like the pulse spitter a lot, but I prefer to use the bolt caster now. Uh, neutron cannon is on my only, I only use when I am, oh, that was weird. Uh, I only use when I'm trying to do, like I said, crowd control. It looks like we got a storm going on too. No, I don't feel like speaking to the Atlas. This ship is so super fast on planet surfaces. You can almost drift in this ship. You're going so fast. Yeah, let's head over there. No matter what the building is, we'll go ahead and land there. Yeah, that's fine. No landing pad, I don't care. Let's go ahead and bring it down. I got plenty of protection on my person, so, you know, we'll do what we gotta do. Okay. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I'll go ahead and recharge you. Let's see what else. Radiation is dropping about 70%. We should be fine. All right, so we're at a high sentinel planet, which means there's usually something here that they don't want you to mess around with. So the only thing we need to do, the hard part about these planets is you have to try to find a sentinel. You have to get sentinels to start showing up. Um, hi there. Just step right in front of me, why don't you? It's like my cat. I'll go ahead and just scan all these creatures, just because that's what I do. I don't even care about the units at this point. That's not really important to me. Okay. So I don't know what we have to do to get these guys to show up, but we'll see. It doesn't look like any of the animals are attacking us, so at least that's something. I am in normal mode. I want to be clear about that. This isn't survival or permadeath. Crazy creatures, man. Almost looks worth trying to get one of those big guys over there. Kind of crazy looking. Anyway, let's keep an eye on the radar for a sentinel. Because usually it's they, they protect something. They're high, high activity, so they should be on here protecting things. Let's get our laser. We'll just keep grabbing things until they start appearing and start saying, Hey, what are you doing? A little bit of hydrogen over there. I'm really surprised they haven't shown up already. You know what we could do? We could look for... Um, We could look for one of those depots or something like that. Found six of the nine creatures already. Okay, which I'm not seeing. So maybe we can do that. Look at these guys. They're like triceratops. Look at that. They're really, really cool. Their head doesn't get bigger as they get older. Look at that. Their head stays the same size and their bodies just get bigger. That's very interesting. Anyway, enough, enough uh, craziness. Let's go look for something. We'll just head south and we'll see if we can't find something along the way. What's that? 
minor settlement. Yeah, now you show up useless. <laughs> Love the radars on these things. Scanner's recharging. I know, I know. The ship is so fast, I've actually got to slow it down. Or else you go way faster than the scanner can pick up anything. There we go. Slow it down. Yeah, that's not going to give me what I'm looking for. Whatever storm's going on, I thought it would be over by now, to be honest with you. You know what we should do? We should look for a factory or something like that. That's what we should do. So let's pause for a second. I'm going to grab a map and make sure I don't already have one in my inventory. I don't think I do. You know what I do have? I might have one in this inventory. Yeah, I'm probably going to run into the surface here in just a second. Let's check my inventory. Look, Gamma Root. Ah, oh boy. Talk about your PTSD. From the last expedition. Uh, let's see. There we go. So now we can go on our freighter, and if I'm not mistaken... Let's see. Settlements. Alien. Inhabited outposts. Yeah, let's do the... Oh, you know what? We can use one of those Sentinel boundary maps. Let me guess. Yeah, of course there's one going to show up here. Let's, uh, let's upset this guy. Yeah, you don't have to investigate anymore. I'm telling you I'm calling you out. So remember, I want to be clear. Let's look real fast. 63,890, that's where we are, right? Okay. Let's get away from here just a second. No, it's not. There they are. Now, I could leave those Sentinel units on the left-hand side to keep calling in more units. But I want to just give the basics. Done. So if I were to let him keep calling in more units, we could make a lot more nanites. Just to be clear. Okay. So they're coming in. You'll notice that I'm just getting Pugnium at this point. This is my starship. So you notice I'm getting salvage glass and some pugnium. That's what I'm getting right now. Okay. Okay. Should be all of them. And you want to pick up all those barrels, because those barrels are very important. I'm not bouncing around. I'm not going to go crazy. We're just going to get this done. Because we're approaching our one-hour mark, and I want to get this taken care of. So there they are. One. Two. Ah, that's an animal, I think. Nope. It's an actual sentinel. Did we just get done with the storm? Walkers are no problem with the bulk caster with a very powerful multi-tool. Just to keep in mind, those walkers are a piece of cake. Okay? So now we're going to level 5. We're going to get all the walkers here in the middle of a storm on top of it all. We're going to get hit by the laser from that walker. That's okay. Yeah. Oh, great. Extreme wind event. This ought to be fun. If anyone remember Delta-1 and his uh, wind storms? Yep, you're never going to live that down, my friend. My apologies. Let 
and we're done. And we'll go ahead and take our walker brain, and we'll get that. All right, and there you go. And we got a sentinel nest revealed as well. Sentinels are now disabled. Let's get back to our ship before we get hit by a tornado. It looks like we got one right in front of our ship, so let's have a little fun with it. I want to teach you something about these wind events. Look at your jetpack. Keep it charged. When you fall, let the wind take you. Just get a big view of what's going on around you. The wind event will keep trying to take you and move you. The only way you can get out of it is by jetpacking out of it when it starts to let you fall. Watch. Little trick. See? We're falling. Yep. Use your jetpack a little bit, and if you fall away from it... There we go. See? There you go, and you're out of the windstorm. That's all you got to do. Oh, I missed one. How did I do that? All right, and where's my ship? That way. Okay. So, see? No harm, no foul. And before we get hit by another one, let's take a quick peek around and make sure we didn't leave anything behind. Doesn't look like we did. All right, so we're in good shape. Okay. Just get my radiation protection boosted up there. There we go. And we'll get in our ship for now. All right. Let's take a look at our things. So you see we got 64,000. So we only got a couple, like a little over 1,000. Maybe not quite 2,000 nanites, right? And if we go in here, um, besides accidentally killing an animal, which I didn't intend to do, obviously, we got ourselves about 12 salvage glass out of all that, plus about 1,100 of those guys. You can keep this going by not killing off those triangle units. They will continue to call in extras. And then what ends up happening? Like I've got 10 right now, right? Just get these. You'll either get money or you'll get other items. So I got three extra sentinel wep weapon shards out of that just by going through a regular ordinary battle. I also got myself a, high, a brain from the walker. A lot of these things didn't show up in my inventory because my freighter is over my head. So you see I got the walker brains and I got some quad servos out of it as well. And because my main inventory here contains a lot of things, it'll go into that inventory. And boy, oh boy, do I have some inventory um, of things. Uh, I've got a lot of stuff in this inventory that I've kept. So keep that in mind um, over the many years I've played. So just letting you know. Anyway, so you will get a lot will get a lot of nanites from it. And if you can keep the farming going, if you can continue to keep those triangle units running, they will continue to dispense more and more of those units so you can get more and more of the barrels, more and more uh, broken glass. And you can see I took very little damage. So in the right atmosphere, in the right environment, that's what you end up with. So I'm going to get out of the storm. Let's head up to the freighter. Not up here, it ain't. And there we go. So we are on our approach to our ship. And this is where we're going to end our video. I want to thank you for watching. And grant, granted, like I said, this wasn't one of these battle royales. This is a, a talk about what kind of weapons to use. It's a talk about uh, basically where you can get your nanites, how you can create a nanite farm, what kind of planets to look for. Your dissident planets are really great because if you have these sentinel ships, they can give you a lot of, of, of stuff for your ship. So you can get upgrades. You can, If you have a broken ship, you can go ahead and fix a lot of things on it with those crystallized hearts, the inverted mirrors, and that kind of thing. So that is basically that. Um, I hope you watched and liked the video. I hope you enjoyed uh, all that we saw and did here. Please hit that like and subscribe. And we look forward to seeing you in another video. I'll, I'll go ahead and do more of these videos. I'm probably going to do a battle royale later where we can keep the Sentinels going. And we'll show you how you can make a lot more nanites. Usually in the last... Last I was able to do, I can do about 90,000 nanites in an hour. So that's always a good thing. Anyway, we'll see you all later, and thank you again for watching. Take care, everybody.